we've got all the cab mount bolts out now. There's just one left down there just resting in the in the hole and there's one down here. We'll leave them in right till last. Still got to disconnect the handbrake and take this top cover off. But um, I'm now going to go and disconnect the steering hoses. Got these two pipes here to take off and that should be everything from the front here removed already. There it is, cabs off. Let me get this all washed down now because I've been sitting under the tree, so that's all sort of a bit sticky and funny. But yeah, it looks a bit strange now sitting on the floor. Here's the tractor. Got a lot of cleaning to do now. You'll probably see we've had a really good go already, but there's just so much muck. We'll get all that cleaned out. I've just made up. Show you, hang on. Here's the top of the gearbox. Uh, Mr. Chamberlain, Dave Chamberlain, has uh, advised me on a few things to think about when taking this apart, and he suggested that this was a very good idea to take that off, as it's pretty much irreplaceable. So that comes, that sits onto here, onto the selectors. Um, all looks really good in there actually so to keep it clean while we jet wash i've just made up this bit of wood put all the old bolts back in so i'm just going to stick that on now bolt that down and then we'll get this all covered in degreaser get the jet wash back out We've got the cab inside now, just taking all the windows out. Just got those little bits of glass down there, take out next. So we'll get it all stripped out and we'll see what we've got to work with. Initially, not looking too bad. Uh, the window, where the window seals have been, probably gonna need a bit of work on some of them. This one doesn't look too bad. Got to get these strips off and uh, We'll probably remake them and get some new hinges around the front here that looks like the bottom of the front window seal it's, uh, yeah it's met the uh, 
metal worm. So we'll have to do something about that for sure. This is the worst window. This one's got quite quite a lot of uh, corrosion all the way around it. The sides, the sides feel pretty good until we get down to here and we've got a, got a hole. So we'll get it off and have a look and see whether it's a repair or replace. We'll have to have a have a think about it. Also got to get this grill off the top here. And where you can see up here it's uh, disintegrated and so is the surround. So tried to get some of these bolts out already and they're just not not liking it. So we'll have to have a have a rethink and don't really want to have to cut them off. But it's got to come off one way or another. Obviously we've got all the controls here, the steering and the brake master cylinder and all those bits. We'll get all that off. Looks like this panel, this all seems to be bolted to one panel. We can get that whole whole unit off and the dash out. And then, uh, yeah, all the cab lining and we'll know what we've got then. We'll be able to press on. Are we getting there?